What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm here, back in my man cave, Joe Boo's man cave. Alexa, turn on bar lights. It's been, it, you know, it, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been here, and it's like I've been in and out, in and out, and it's like, you know, it's just been, life has been crazy, and I miss being here. I love my uh, fish pond outside. The spring is here. All the ferns are out. And the leaves are out and stuff, and I missed all that stuff coming in, but I'm here right now. And tomorrow, my buddy, Game Time Brian, will be here. and We'll be getting ready to leave Wednesday morning for the draft. And, you know, I am, without a doubt, a truly diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. There's nothing I would love better than for Jerry Jones to be able to hold up that Super Bowl trophy again and, you know, be able to say, you know, F all you guys. I got another one, even though y'all thought that we were just a joke. I, there's nothing I want more. But I have to be real about what, 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 what we are. The Cowboys are the worst negotiating team in the NFL. They just are. And I'm sitting here, you know, because... We got just three players we got to pay, okay? Just three players. Now, I get it. Devontae Smith just got $25 million extension, you know, per year for three years. A.J. Brown is getting paid $25 million a year, right? That's two receivers they've got locked down. That's $50 million for those two guys. And we can't seem to sign... CD Lamb. Brandon Cooks is only $10 million. Um, we got rid of Michael Gallup, who's only $11 million. We got our quarterback, who we can't seem to get a contract with, you know, and we're dealing with the $55 million cap hit with him on a $40 million per year deal. And here it is the Eagles. The same team that's got two wide receivers at $25 million a year, they have their quarterback sewn up to almost the end of the decade. And his cap number is like $13 million this year, and he's getting paid $11 million more a year. And more evidence of this is the Dallas Cowboys, the trade that they made for Trey Lance looks worse now maybe it doesn't look as bad as what san francisco originally did for him but with zach wilson zach wilson gets traded to denver the jets have to take half of his salary which is about 2.6 million dollars we're paying trey lance the full number that he is because he was the third pick zach wilson was the number two pick so their contracts are very similar we're paying the full boat for Trey Lance, the whole $5.6 million or whatever it is. Zach Wilson, Denver's only paying half of the money. It gets worse. We gave up a fourth-round draft pick for him. Okay, I know people say, man, it's only a fourth. Well, fourth-round pick, we actually got Dak Prescott and there is hope, you know, Trey Lance, his story per John Lynch, who was the guy who traded up for him, giving up three number ones and a fourth round pick to get him. He says, and let, let, let me give you this. San Francisco general manager John Lynch would surely take back his 2021 decision to trade up to draft Trey Lance if given a chance, but he also isn't giving the quarterback, giving up on the quarterback who is now a member of the Dallas Cowboys. I am always careful of this because Trey Lance's story hasn't been written yet, Lynch told reporters today. He's in Dallas right now, and I still think Trey's got good football in him. We'll see. 
that will see how that plays out. But I think also the freedom that when you've done something, you feel like maybe it can prove us to move on. We aren't beholden to, well, we drafted a guy. We just got to stick it out. We can do these things we want to do. And I think that served us well. I honestly think that he brought this up today as a way of kind of laughing a little bit at us. Because, see, here's the thing. San Francisco would rather have a fork in their eye than trade with the Cowboys. But the Cowboys offered so much, a fourth-round pick when nobody else is offering more than a six, that they said, yeah, we need this deal. So Zach Wilson goes to Denver. Denver eats... I mean, the Jets have to eat half of the contract. Here's what they did. They sent Zach Wilson in the seventh-round pick to Denver to get a sixth-round pick. That's it. That's it. They exchanged picks, seventh for six, and they gave up the quarterback. We spent a fourth for Trey Lance and play the full price. And see, this is the sad thing about the Cowboys is it doesn't seem to matter what trades they make. And here's where it's kind of crazy. Say what you will about Zach Wilson, but look at the numbers in comparison to the experience at least. He at least, now understand, when I compare these numbers, you can't, it's, it's not apples to oranges because I can't look at the Jets and say that the Jets have great personnel and great coaching and things in the same way that, say, San Francisco does. When you have a Christian McCaffrey, when you got a Debo, when you have a, or at least at the moment, a Brandon Ayuk and a George Kittle and um, a left tackle like Trent Williams, you're doing better than the Jets that don't have an offensive line. So when we look at the numbers, completions Zach Wilson has 10 times Trey Lance has got 56 completions in his career in the eight games he's played in four of which he started Trey Lance's completion percentage with better players is less now Zach Wilson his interception ratio is higher but part of that can be the offensive line is the difference you look at the experience 797 yards versus 6,200, 23 TDs and 25 um, interceptions, five TDs versus three. And the interception percentage is higher for Trey Lance than it is for Zach Wilson. And I'm not saying that Zach Wilson is a a, a good quarterback. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that Trey Lance is a bad quarterback. Uh, I'm not trying to say that for either of them. But basically, you're looking at both of these guys being developmental quarterbacks. And the Cowboys gave up way more than anybody for any of these journeyman-type quarterbacks. And that's basically what Trey Lance is right now. I know Cowboy fans believe that, you know, Trey Lance, he you know he's there to challenge, to take, he's ready to take us to the Super Bowl. He's re- With all the talent the Cowboys have, uh, I, I remind you that he stayed at third string behind Cooper Rush. I remind you that another Jets bust, Sam Darnold, was kept on the team, and they got rid of Trey Lance to the Cowboys. This is just a case of the Cowboys, they draft really good. They find good talent as undrafted rookies. Problem is, is they don't know how to negotiate. If you're a car salesman and you see the Joneses coming in, you know you're you're getting the wheel locks. You're getting the underbody coating done on the car. You're going to make up some shit and say, oh, yeah, well, we had to put that on there, too, man, to protect you from alien, you know, lasers and stuff, man. You got the the Z-Bart laser deflection sealant on top of it, you know, and, and they charge you for that shit. 
this is just another case where you look and say other people are, are, are playing 3D chess. And the Cowboys, I don't even know that they're playing checkers. It might be tiddlywinks. All right, good people. We'll, we'll be talking about this some more in a couple of hours. We'll be live streaming at 9 o'clock Eastern, and I can't wait to see my, my, my boys. My boys come Wednesday, and we'll be in Detroit for the draft. And um, I've got some updating I need to do here on the set here because I, I, I don't have my music on here like I do at, at the Red Brick House. Uh, I don't have my all of my, my clips and things of Philly 500 melting down or who's Mark. Hall. Man, I, I ain't got shit here. I ain't got nothing. I need to get to work here and get this place in shape. But as always, I appreciate you guys. Peace out.